in bargain you can see this, this, this and this. Bergen is famous for being the rainiest Norwegian city, but what else is it famous for? I recently went there and here are my top things to do in Bergen. When you first arrive to Bergen and before heading into the city, don't forget to check out the giant yellow welcoming sign that says Bergen? Question mark, because it's so bright it really stands out if it's rainy weather, which it is most of the time. And the question mark is most likely to emphasize that if you're not sure if you're in Bergen, then you can double check it with the weather. If it's rainy, then you've come to the right place. And it's raining. Now that you've seen the sign, head over to Bibon. Bibon is probably the cheapest and fastest way to explore Bergen. It's a 20 km long light rail system that takes you from airport all the way to the city center. Stopping on the way at 27 stations and therefore a great and environmental friendly thing to do when in Bergen. So now after arriving to Bergen and before heading to see the famous colorful houses at Bryggen, you might want to grab something to eat. And what better place than the fishing market, Fisketorka. So now we have arrived at the fishing market and there's bread. This is not fish, where is fish? Here the fishing merchants have permanent shops where they sell the freshest of the fresh fish straight from the ocean, and the restaurants located right by will gladly prepare it for you. Everything is indoors and is open all year round, so that you can enjoy the view of a Bryggen while eating. Bryggen is one of Bergen's and Norway's main attractions. Bryggen was built after the Great Fire in 1702 and is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The very first building in Bergen were situated at Bryggen which has been a vibrant and important area of the city for many centuries. Hidden behind the iconic Bryggen front lines is a hidden world of passages, small shops, galleries and artist studios ready for you to explore. I went to this small stone shop while exploring the cities and got myself a stone, cause I like stones. Right by Bryggen you will find Bergenhus Fortress, one of Norway's oldest and best preserved fortifications. It's not very impressive in its architecture or size and I thought there wasn't anything special about it. Historically, the construction was completed around 1700 and served little purpose until the Germans occupying forces used it during the Second World War. But what I found more interesting is how it was used before it became a fort. Since Bergen was the capital city of Norway, the main building of this fortress, Håkons Hall, was a royal residency during the 13th century. Heading back to the city centrum, where you will find Torg Almeningen, the main city square. After the city fire in 1561, they started constructing wide open streets to prevent future fires. And I can tell you that Norwegian cities have been burned many times throughout their history. Bergen has been burned down about 33 times. And by burned down, I mean like almost the whole city centrum, 100 plus buildings. So you can compare narrow streets of Bryggen with the wide streets of Torgalmeningen on who is most likely to burn down if a fire started again. Overlooking Torgalmeningen is Johannes Church. Besides being a church built with bricks, it's a great place to view the city from and is located right by Bergen University. Heading back down you'll find Music Pavilion next to the Torgalmeningen, a beautiful garden with a pavilion in the middle. Situated near a small lake, it's a perfect spot to wander on a nice day. The West Norway Museum of Decorative Arts building is right nearby if you fancy going to a museum. The lake situated nearby I was talking about is called Lille Lungegårdsvane and the place is called Festplassen and is Bergen's central lake and fountain, site of fun, fairs and festivals. Fleibon is one of the best ways to view the city from. It's a railway that you take from the city up to the mountain of Leuen. Unfortunately, it was closed when you went to Bergen the second time, so make sure to check beforehand. Or, if you're feeling sporty, you can walk all the way up. There are plenty of mountain peaks you can conquer around Bergen, the most popular being Leuen and Ulriken. Actually, Bergen Centrum is surrounded by seven mountains, and the city is often called the city between the seven mountains. I know, very original. That also may be one of the reasons why it rains so much in Bergen. When the moist oceanic air encounters the mountains, it begins to rise. The rising air cools as it moves up and over the mountains, and much of its moisture condenses, forming clouds and therefore making rain. 
I just quickly want to mention that there are plenty of statues and monuments all around the city of famous people you probably haven't heard of. But it might be interesting to check it out if you want to learn more about Norwegian culture and history. Before leaving, don't forget to stop by Paradis, where you will find the unique looking Stavkirke, Stave Church. It's a medieval wooden Christian church building, once common in northwestern Europe. And on that note, I want to say thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel content. Thank you. Bye!